what what else what else um did i did i talk about this yet um no i did not this is another bonus i'm at 10 minutes all right, so I, okay so you guys heard me put a bonus in if you listen to my latest last show for season 14 was a bonus i wanted to have 14 shows and i did if you count the zeros it's 14 but um Richard Kaufman, this part's going to be about Richard Kaufman. Um, I'll have his link in there. This man, and it will be actually the picture for the season. Uh, this man is very, very, very humbling. Um, so I get a text message after I do the show. I, I, I guess... Uh, the next day, because I was still up, I I was up all night, and um, yeah, I I'm trying to think like I could I could read it, but I'm like, actually, you know what? I could read it. Um, if you don't mind, Richard, I'm just gonna read the one part because it, you know, I have uh, the content creators crew. Okay, and it just says, um, oh man, this is, this made my day. I was having such a shitty day, too, and that night, that too, all right? And I'll, I'll even play back. This is what I said. I, I, this is what I told him. The last thing he texts me is, let's do it. That's when I was, uh, that's, March 18th, and then I, I think I, yeah, this is what I sent. Hey, buddy, I know you probably hear me on the podcast show, hey, going crazy, and do a lot of cursing and all that, but I do want to kind of get into the business end of it. I mean, I've been doing this for a while, and I'm, tri- I tripled every month my listens for over four years. I, I just want to say, this is a personal conversation. This is not in the crew, and I normally would not be sharing this, but the, you got to hear it. And uh, I just had a lot of questions, I guess. And usually, I, I, there's so many people that do like what you do, but you do yours like, I, I don't know. I guess knowing you makes a big difference, but you do yours different. You're, you're so much more clean and honest with it. And I know I already kind of asked you a while back if you wanted to do something, but if you wanted to just talk private, I, uh, I know you had that up there too. But what I'm trying to say is that I, you don't have to take me on as like a, you know, anything like a student or whatever. If you have time, uh, I definitely want to get my hands on the book. I would, uh, I'll get it ASAP. Um, you know, maybe uh, we could talk uh, when you have time and uh, base. Uh, yeah. See, I- I'm gonna stop myself. I was like, this is not me. I'm usually like, hey, you know, and tell somebody straight up. But I didn't know how to ask him, how do you ask somebody for help? Like, hey, maybe your book would help. But that's, I wasn't even thinking about the book, except I definitely want to grab it. Like, I was getting the book, regardless. <laughs> that was that was the big thing. Because that's going to only help, obviously. Plus, you should. It's twenty nine ninety nine, and you're getting just so much information out of it. Um, you could be a vet and whatever. So this is actually me. I'm hearing this for the first time back, and I didn't even realize. I meant I, I was just getting done everything, and uh, I I didn't know how to ask them. Like, just a not. Do you, do you want to come on my? Can you come on my show? I'll go on your show. I don't care. But it wasn't even that. I honestly didn't know what I was saying. You can hear me struggling. Here we go. Basically, I wanted to like just get move away from the, the funny bullshit and kind of talk about you know the journey to that to to do this yourself, you know, versus not having any help. 
you mentioned that in one of your shows, like in the beginning, you know, like you just had the the audio. Now you got audio and video, and I'm I'm trying to do it all. But like I said, by yourself, different story. And uh, what you said about starting a podcast, you're spot on. Like I I did the show a year back, one through ten, and yeah. I had some good feedback from that, meaning uh, good reviews, uh, and that's when I barely knew as much as I do today, so, uh, sorry for the long, uh, VM, I just wanted to let you know, I'm gonna put my phone, I think, I might have my phone number already, but I'm gonna drop it underneath, it's also public knowledge, so, not worried about it, uh, yeah. And if I, you know, if I, if I'll, I, I'll shoot you, I'll be uh, shouting you out. I'll give you like a little ad if you want, or if you ever have something, you know, a minute, 30 seconds, whatever, kind of like what I do with Eddie, but uh, he hasn't been on as much. I don't mind throwing that in because I'm, you know, back to be doing this and TikTok, kind of like what you're doing. You're all over the place. And I learned from Marie Humphreys, uh, you might know her, if you don't, you should definitely check her out, she's more into, she like help podcasting, but you're more into that business side, and I'm sick of doing this for so long, and just not getting the uh, treatment I, I should get, especially from Spotify, and I think you understand what tree I'm barking up there. Alright, that's all the time I wanted to take from you. Uh, I'll drop my number. Uh, you can text me or call me whenever you want to, you know, get a minute to talk. No rush. Much love and much respect. I didn't want to drop this in there. I figured, you know, this would be private, but hey, I don't mind uh, if I did. I just wanted to make sure I didn't want to put you on the spot. Uh, Alright, buddy. Take care. Hope you, your wife, your family, everybody's doing great. All right. God bless. All right. And hey, buddy. And that's, sorry, I know you. And that's the end of the message. The next thing, I put my number. You can text or call, whatever. That's it. So, I got two more minutes in here because I don't want to run it too late. So, uh, that was dropped Friday at 421 p.m. 421 p.m. And you know what was said next? Hold on. I'll tell you right after this. Uh, (laughs) I had to to restart that. I don't like to go too long when I have to upload so much. I was running like almost 20 minutes there. So, where I was getting back at. So, at 421, I sent that message. And you figure it's a four minutes. It says 425, right? 4.55, same day, p.m. The first thing, the first text is in the group, and it says, is somebody peeling onions? That was in the group text. And, you know, maybe I missed something, and I didn't get it. But then I got a text from him, so I went and read his, and his says, OMG, WTF. Oh. oh my god, what the fuck? Has like the big eyes. Really? Question mark. You made me cry. And I'm like, what? Now. Now. That's, that was just like, okay. Alright. So I put a question mark little emoji. This is 26 seconds of me just saying, what? Like here. Hey, uh, I just read that, and then I read yours. Is that is that a good thing? I'm sorry. Uh, what did I do? I'm sorry. What happened? I'm here with my dad. I was actually, we were listening to the first one, and I told him I made a bonus. It was about you. I told him about you and your books. I hope you weren't offended. So, and then I said, what do you mean... Is everything good? Question mark. Because I had a, like he wasn't getting back to me, and he goes, "Yes, I'm just so grateful for you." What is your mailing address? Well, that was confused. Like I was like, "Wait a minute, what?" 
Now, the next one is like uh, a minute and 36 seconds. So I can either tell you a breakdown what I said. But I thought he had my mailing address already. And you guys know this. He sent me a thank you card, which I was like, you're welcome. I didn't know why. Maybe just because I followed him and I put some stars up on his... Like, you know, you recognize, especially somebody in your crew or family, you know? Now, uh, before all this, I knew Richard for years on Facebook. Years. Did not know his struggles. I didn't know. I knew s some of it. But when I found out the whole thing, I was like, oh, shit. And he's going through stuff today. You know, like, you know, um, I guess health-wise. And uh, I, obviously, I'm not going to get into that. So this is my response to after that. Oh, um... One, I don't... Who do you, you're so grateful for me. Wait, are, are you... I just want to make sure. Are you talking about the, the podcast show? <laughs> and uh, two, I, yeah, I thought I gave that to you, but I will get, I'll, I'll type it in there next. Um, honestly, I am very... Like, I'm really, really happy. It made my day that you told me that you liked it. I just thought... I wish I would have got more clips and stuff, you know, but I was I was running low on gas. <laughs> okay, now, I understood. I, I Actually, I'm only looking at the main reading part. And then he goes, yeah, here you go. He put, I put the address in there, and he goes, book is on it. The book is on its way. Email address. Uh, I never did give him the email address. Shit. Uh, so... Oh shit, uh, that's just reminding me, this is like real time. Okay, so anyway, that was like real time. So he goes, book is on the way. I didn't see the email address, and I said, back at you, buddy. And then, he, and then I got the picture, and I was like, oh shit, it's like a copy of the book and everything. And I was like, oh my god, I wanted that. Yeah. Okay, so you guys probably heard me say a couple things, which I'm going to clarify. I'm talking on this fucking mic. <laughs> One second here, turning the mic off. So I'm going to be talking normally in the uh, in the thing. I'm going to get, get rid of that. So I I wasn't I wanted some help with basically financial like stuff. Like, look, I've always said to you guys, I didn't care about the money, but 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 there's a big but. There's a difference when you're getting played all over the place. And, and <laughs> you have to claim things and do things and all this stuff. And I might be making people laugh or just making them smile. And that's enough for me. But the, the money I put out, you know, without getting any ads, and I mean ads in... Automated ads, okay? Spotify, you have ads out and I don't see any and they want a certain amount of followers and I think, I'm sorry, I think that's bullshit. I've been doing this. This is not me, uh, saying, hey, I, uh, you know, I, I, you know, I have a podcast I'm doing for like a couple of months, uh, whatever. No. This is, May 12th or whatever the date was. It was just like at the start of May. This is four years now. I want to say I deserve it. And then I kept saying it to myself. Should I? Should I? Should I? And trust me, that's one, one of the reasons why I was gone a while. 
And this is why I wanted to take this episode and this season and a different approach. So I don't want to come like, hey, I might be in the basement, but you don't hear me rambling on and being stupid. I want to do that funnier stuff, same stuff. I don't know if I want to do the Jimmy James show A to Z anymore. I like that. I'm kind of going to narrow it down to like a couple subjects. Um, I like being all over the place sometimes, but at the end of the day, and then I look at my rating, and I know why my rating is the way. That was something personal somebody did to me, and I thought, that's kind of messed up, you know what I mean? Because when you first start out, you could have 10 people that know you, right? Or listen, or one person, I'm sorry. And just to be a, a mean person, say to another 10 people that they know, oh, just go here and listen and then rate it, give it one star, do it for me. And obviously, as a friend, you're gonna be, yeah, I'll do it. But I think that's, that's shit. Cause it really drags me down and all the work I've really tried to reach out. So I hope you're happy because a lot of the stuff I did talk about in a lot of my shows, you guys might not listen to all of them. I don't blame you. Sometimes they were wandering off in like, you know, nowhere. But a lot of them were talking about my life, my history, my experience, my pain that I'm putting out there. So, to mic drop this, you go to therapy, right? And I'm not talking about, I'm talking about every, in general. You guys go to therapy. This is my therapy, I told you that. And I'm willing, it, willing to share it with the world, okay? If you lose your therapist... All right. You know how hard it is to find somebody. And especially if you've been with that same person for so long to have to start all over again. You know, I already know that's hard. Anybody would tell you if you really think about it. You know how I know is because I am not stupid. It's not because, by the way, and that's not a strike at somebody certain. I'm just saying, it just happened to be that situation occurred to somebody. And that sucks because I know when you have to sit there. But then again, is that karma coming around to bite you in the ass? I don't want that for you. God, I would not want that for you. But would you tell your friends, be like, you know what, maybe I should tell them to do this and do that. No, it's fine. I'll, I don't care what the rating says. But that rating system just came out. People are going to look at that and see 2.9 or whatever. It was 5.0 and then it was 4.9 and that was fine. And now it shows you it's not that many people. You got to listen. That That was hurtful. <laughs> And it's not funny because you know what it did? It just hurt both of us because I believe now you, and I'm talking to the person, now you get it when it comes to that, to that therapy. I'm sorry I went off track there, but so that's why I made that decision. Hey, I deserve it. I deserve it because this is what I think should happen now if i were to choose to do these shows or whatever and just throw them out there and there was no publisher like spotify and there was no corporate uh corporate corporations corporations involved then it there would be nothing being said right now so i am luckily having a I'm luckily having a friend i'm saying lucky i have a friend who was in that part of the business that I can trust and I'm getting his blood, sweat and tears hand or mail to me. Like, think about that. Somebody who's knows it all, been there, done that. Okay. He actually said this and I said, this is funny because I heard him say this. He said, Google, you know, if you Google me, I come up a whole bunch of times and I'm like, Hey, yeah, me too. But 
you know, I'd never Google myself until like I don't know, a year ago. And I was like, oh shit. And I, some of it I didn't want. Like it was like YouTube stuff. And I'm like, ah. So, uh, yeah, I just want to end that part because this is season 15. This is the part two. There's going to be a lot of little, uh, remixed stuff in there. And I'm going to use Speechify and I'm going to wait for the sound card. I'll use that. And then once I get that, I'm going to make some new material. And I might do, and you know, where I would go. It's 911. I might do one of those, but using Speechify. I was thinking about doing that. So, yeah. And then, oh, should I do, why don't you do a subscription then? Right? That's what you could ask. That would be a logical question. Why don't you just do subscription? I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't think the people that I am sharing this with should pay to listen to me i think that's ridiculous like i said unless it was like like a company and by the way another congratulations to going out to richard kaufman you know why he's turning it into a studio man do you know that's like a dream that's my dream to have like a spot in a studio and i don't have the money obviously my studio is you've seen it the basement so that's another big congratulations out there to richard hey man much love much respect to everybody i hope that i didn't offend anybody by saying anything about the 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 therapy okay i just wanted to say you personally whoever it is out there you go try talking about your trauma all right now I know, trust me, I know some trauma is le- better left said to somebody who's a, you know, professional. And I think it's funny that there's so many professional, you know, uh, apps, should I say, that was supposed to do a show about that, the professional apps and the therapy. And I was going to look up the apps l- why I'm talking to you guys. And that was going to be the show and i'm like ah. but but i decided i'm going to do it so what i'm going to do because i i don't i don't want a therapist whatever i always wanted to help like the kids or whatever or anybody you have a question you can ask me please ask and I will take my time and think about it and give you my best solution. No, I don't got no PhDs or any of that, but I think I'm, uh, you know, educated person when it comes to emotions because I was born that way and I had that, like I told you, it's a curse and a gift. And not everything I say is correct. I'm going to be wrong. I'm going to mess up, but I pick myself up and I keep going, and I get a lot of that from people like Richard, which I was just talking about, Mr. Richard Kaufman from Vertical Momentum 2.0, by the way, Vertical Momentum 2.0. 2.0. I gotta say, I, want, I was thinking about this when I was walking to the store. I was like, I wonder if he'll like give me that name. He can have 2.0. I'll just take the regular vertical. <laughs> no, it's a pretty, it's a pretty cool name. Like you hear it and you're like, that's yeah, that's pretty cool. Vertical momentum. You know, I it it's like vertical momentum. Now look that up. But I was like, because I, I this is me. I'm a stickler for words. So, I am deeply humbled, and I am going to do a raplet about Rich. I wasn't going to say nothing. It's going to be about vertical momentum, and I hope it's going to be about everything, and it's all going to be positive, nothing bad, and I might throw a joke or two in there, but definitely vertical momentum 2.0. Thank you to Richard. And, oh, Mrs. Kaufman, too, yes, yeah, I believe. 
Uh, he, he said his wife uh, pretty much helped him write it. He, she probably did all the work. Come on, we all know this. She did all the work. He was sitting back like, what else should I have? Should we add while he's watching, you know, like hoops? And watching, I don't, you know, watching sports. Yeah, that sounds good, honey. Yeah, 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 yeah. Write that. Put that. Yeah. What's that? Yeah, man, that sounds about. That sounds about right. Just make sure you just sign my name. All right, let, let me get back to the show. <laughs> oh, I'm just kidding. Unless that's the truth, then Rich said, "Geez, no." <laughs> Take care, guys. I'm uh, I'm done with this segment. Uh, I'll be filming in the film in the next segment when I get the sound card. So it's going to be a while for me, but seconds for you. Time and its weirdness. I cannot wait to get the proper material. All right. I will be back, but it's going to be a while. So take care, and uh, maybe I'll throw a song in. Thanks again to everybody who just just listened to me rant and rave and kind of go on. But uh, you're the best. All you, you're the best. And also the content creators crew. And, uh, yeah. Last but not least, um, I, uh, I want to talk to uh, Lisper, see if he wants to do a show. Anybody in the, uh, in the crew that wants to do something. Let me know, and we can plan something for this week. Peace out. Much love, much respect for now. Jim James, out. Here is a summary to what I'm about to drop. And yes, it is hot. The text is a rap book written by Jimmy James, discussing his thoughts on society, the environment, and the future of humanity. He aims to provoke thought and reflection on the limitations of human beings and the resources available to them. He plans to explore the topics of life, death, and the universe in the rest of the book. Alright, that will be coming up. I hope you guys enjoy. And I will bring you something... All right, so you guys heard you guys heard this one before. This is a little bit longer. Um, this is the one where I think I I named it. Uh, yeah, boys, I removed that show. I never put a title on it, and it was in the last uh, the basement ramblings of a crazy person part seven. But I wanted you to hear it properly, and I don't really listen to him. But you might know his voice. If you don't, I'll tell you at the end. So here's a test run of it and see how it sounds. Boys, I removed that show. You're probably wondering what show. So am I. This is going to turn into some weird shit. So get ready. Basically, it's a show I had done, but it sounded like shit. Editing a lot of it. I thought I would have it done by now, but there was just so much to edit. I sent it right to Spotify. Yeah, they definitely changed things over there, and it looks like for the most part they handle with care. Anyway, let's update Annie. Some shit is just that. Shit smells like it. Looks like it. And if it probably tastes like it, wait, wait. Basically, yeah, money involved to get involved. Not really happy about it. I was trying to download it to one of my files, and it didn't give me the option. Of course it didn't. Unless you paid the premium or an arm to let them molest your bank account. You get all the options, but I think you can still do it. I just was in a rush. That's just how I am. But Justin Stewart working on getting it out. And no, not the show. I mean, the words he was trying to speak. I'm just fucking with you, bro. I love you like a duck. Loves his feet. Plus, I have like a newspaper. Extra, extra. Stuff because what I was talking about made no sense. But to be honest, when do I ever make rents? I mean, Kent. Shit, I'm doing it again. That whole English to English thing where I'm trying to say something and nobody gets it. Maybe I'm so good it goes right over your head. At this point, I don't know because there's no place you can put a review for something I do. And nobody else does. Or at least gives an effort comment. What are you afraid of Santa Claus putting coal in your stocking? I mean, come on, what the flocking do I have to do to get one of you to make fun of me? I think that would be a most spectacularly wonderful day. To hear me rip the part and shred it like the Shredder and the Ninja Turtles, but with a better name, a better look, and a better franchise to boot. Anyway, I'm writing this when I should be writing the third chapter of my book. But no, I'm Jimmy James, and of course I'm insane. 
And yes, I have to always maintain some function of duality. I think I'm making words up in this reality. So after you rolled out for the remainder of the show, Justin, and for everybody else who actually listens to the whole show, this is what I was talking about. I literally forget because it seems like Riverside.fm is going to make you pay an arm and a leg just to talk. Yes, that's it. No more enough said. Do you know there's other places that will pay you to do the same thing? I think Spotify is getting sort of racist. And I mean that in every sense of the word. Seems like they're purple all the way. And they're not switching to Waves or any other platform that let you play your podcast for free. Or maybe even give you a little bit extra for shooting out a load of their sponsorship, even though we are. Shit it on as we use the platform who shits on us? Maybe that's the way we like it in the bedroom. I don't know anymore. So I decided to write this, and it's not really a raplet. It's not really poetry, it's just my mind in motion, and like I always say, I totally forget because I say so much, I think I even made a song about that. Basically, me repeating the word I say a lot. I just use one right now, basically. So, let's get on with the rest of this 15,000 character bullshit thing I have to write. For some reason, well, I don't have to write it. I just feel like it's 15,000 characters. Maybe I should finish the whole goddamn thing. Sorry if you're a religious person. I don't mean God in that way. I mean God in like no way, because there's no way there's a God that we made up and he's just in the sky. Like you'll hear coming up, I put George Carlin and all his best quotes and I think some jokes. But anyway, some funny and some pretty good material. I mean, the song from Madonna, shit am I getting worse as I go along. Do you believe it's been an hour and I still didn't take a sip of my coffee? These are just thoughts that are flying through the air. I'm grabbing them as they're passing by. One day I will do this and drop some wisdom instead of orgasm for your ears, which was once said to me from a fan. And that's all I have to say about that. That's Forrest Gump, just in case you're wondering. So later on, in there afterwards. I said working on it now. Good morning, everybody. Gonna get my coffee. I hope everybody has a lovely Thursday afternoon. One more day to go until we hit that Friday. Or maybe one more day to go until we're dead. I think Eddie from the TBD Network said I woke up today and my heart was still beating. For some reason, I found that funny. So I laughed a little bit. Then I went on with my day thinking about how people can be funnier than they even know. So we can party. Or if you're in the mood to sit back and just be like on the chill train with me in tow. Then that's something that is up to you to maintain. After 9639. Unfortunately for myself, I'll be sitting on my chair with my legs up. Keep in mind, I need that flow pumping like a well-oiled machine. Well, not really trying to rhyme this. I believe this isn't working, but what the hell else do you want? It's in my nature like a tree root sprouting to life just to fall 10 years into its 150-year debut. You know because of Home Depot and Lowe's, you know the assholes that build our homes. Oh, I can go on and on and on about this shit. So my name is Mr. Newsman. John Cloudman coming to life to go high, 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 and then get cut down or fall down eventually. The asteroid will hit us and we'll all die? That's a fucking terrible thing to say or think. I apologize for these awful things that run through my head. Something just ran by again, but I couldn't catch it. Shit, that was a human. I think he's robbing us blind. I'm too tired to get up and chase this guy. Anyway, moving on. That's when you know I'm about to go to a different topic, just to let you know. When I use the word anyway, so now you know that secret. Kind of like TGFI and how it's supposed to be a restaurant. But they're open all week long doesn't make any sense to me. Seems like they only care about the money they get. Otherwise, they would only be open on the day that they named yourself after. Wendy's is another one. Oh, no. That's not a day. That's a name. Sorry getting my words mixed up again. As I'm doing this and finishing it up, Eddie has been hitting me up with some funny stuff, I'm assuming. And I'm hoping, because at this point I am choking. Before, thank God, it's Friday, basically Friday. Now that was a terrible, terrible raplet. Chapter 9636-4. So let me show you how much better I've got at them. On the flip like a ripped guy, and he's flexing his side note, just like inside out clothes from back in the day, you remember those clothes. At that age, well, I remember shit that I'm like off my rocker about. Crazy crowns to Mortal Kombat and trying to be certain levels on Mario Brothers. Nintendo 360. That shit is like straight coke right to the brain. Like, holy shit, that's fucking insane. So weird to think just years ago, we used to have a game called Go. Now there's Pokemon Go and so many more. I just remember watching Go Go Gadget with Penny the girl who seemed to carry the grown man even though he was robotic and had everything sticking out of his ass. I mean, Go Go Gadget umbrella ass. And there you go. It was snowing from his hat. 
what the fuck and who built that? I never figured that out. Maybe I'll do some futuristic show about historical shows and how wrong they were. Like the Jetsons, and not to mention, well, wait a minute. My brain is telling me to hit stage left, and that shit is pretty cool when you exercise your brain on some level like this. But you gotta maintain some normalization to your brainstem once again, because... You'll probably get hit by a car, or a truck, or even a tree might fall in your car out of nowhere. You could just be parked. And all of a sudden, a tree falls right on top of you, and you live to tell the tale. What if I said that was a true story? Anyway, there you go. Now you know I'm switching the flow. All bullshit in this side, I said that tree thing to get Richie to open up and share his insides. Not like that. I mean, like, you know, what's in his head, how he feels about that. You know, basically normal chit-chat, well, normal chit-chat that you would have with, like, a cat alone. Anyway, I hope you enjoy the next part coming up. It's not text-to-speech. It is, but it is not if that makes any sense, which it doesn't. But I had to get George Carlin up on this bitch. Because I accidentally found something, and I must share with you guys. So before I finish the rest of this, I just want to say, have a wonderful Thursday. Oh, yeah, ice cream truck. Holy fuck, I couldn't think of anything that rhymes with all of that. So this is about to be the end, my friends. I'm sorry, I know you would like me to keep going on and on until the end of time. My wisdom is so great, and you want pieces. Well, just like the company, I want some money to go with... I reach, and what it is for this wisdom of pieces I give away each day. Holy shit, that was actually pretty good. I know I'm good, I do it all the time. What the fuck, I still didn't get any coffee. Hold on. Give me 20 minutes, you wouldn't know the difference. Chapter coming up 9 billion and 3 minus 4 times pi equation E equals MC square. Anyway, that's pretty much mass, moving my hand through the air to get my coffee cup so I can drink some. So I can wake the fuck up and finish this editing that everybody loves. Moving on to a darker place like that's in a cave, I'm about to be bold, be brave. You ain't gonna see me coming, even though that's a little wives tale. For some reason I thought about bats, and yes, they can see in the dark, that's just a side note on a side note. The fuck is wrong with me, you must be thinking. It's early in the morning and he's already going. Mach 3. Yeah, this is my night, this is your morning, Jimmy James having fun with the content creators crew, and I'm making my rounds and collecting my dues. I still am not rhyming that great, but fuck it. I swear to you to any god that exists, if there is even such a thing, did you know god, the word god was made up by men? That's just fact, not trivia. Don't want you to be trivial about it. I'm just spitting trivia, mania that ever existed, or just, if I had my coffee before I've done this twist, I guarantee you this shit would have been all over like a hit and run. The funny thing is, the guy who got hit was the one who ran. I don't know how that's funny, it will make sense at this point, but to be honest and on some real talk, what does make sense in this world? People saying that we come from gods of some sort, we were in the image of all that, then why is my ankle hurting? Could have been from the six times I've sprained it running up and down the basketball court. But I'm close to being bored, and before I send this shit out, I promise myself I'd play some baseball. Not in real life, it's a video game. Relax, I'm not fucking insane. Even though this is truth, I could have been a major league picture. I am not lying about that. I have trophies to back that one up, and people who knew me back in the day, do you know why I didn't make it? Because my parents decided drugs were more important than my well-being or my life. Now I sit here and take care of them, I guess I am an asshole in the end. Well, to end this on a really cool note. First, I want to say I was not making fun of anybody's religion I respect the hell out of. Even though that came out wrong just then. But you understand what I'm saying. And this just wasn't for the content creators crew. It was for anybody in particular or anybody who felt like they needed to hear this weirdness. You guys do listen now. You know how I know. Because I see the statistics on my telephone, laugh out loud telephone cell phone, I could open up my laptop, but I'm too fat and it's too far away, standing at five feet in distance. I'm just not going to make it. So before I let you go, just to let you know, once again, I said that I think I'm past 14. 300 characters and I still have around 6000 to 700 characters to go, but I'm going to end it now and say take care of one another and yourself. But most of all, Spotify pay me for doing your fucking shows. Until then, have a great day and a weekend. I love you, all my friends, and the people who are in my life. Just let me know I'll stab a motherfucker for you if needed. As long as you help me bury the body, and I hate blood, so no bleeding. Shit, well. Anyway, that took out the stabbing part. We can strangle them. Okay, now I'm talking about murder in three different ways. Time to say goodbye, much love, much respect. Peace the fuck out. And this has probably been the most weirdest text-to-speech messages ever wrapped, whatever you want to call them. 
I'm ending this at about 321.13. Zero, 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 zero characters. Holy shit balls flying through heaven's hell in a shit bag. Next part coming up is GC and quotes and jokes. And seriously, they are hilarious. Very, very funny. Some I've never heard before. So I hope you guys enjoy. And then created by somebody who needs to be put in a straight jacket. Sincerely, Jimmy James. Bonus, I am two chapters in my book, The Boy from the Future. I am excited to dive back into that. It's totally different than doing anything like this and just speaking nonsense, but it is pretty cool so far, and I think I put a lot of twists and turns in there to keep you guys guessing. I figured if I can do this, I can do that, and if I push myself, even if the book is shit on the first try, at least I know where I fucked up at all. Give it another go. But for now, this is Jimmy James saying don't give up on yourself, don't give up on one another, and always, always live your life like it's your last day. Because honestly, we don't decide when it is. Unless you're watching somebody on a bridge, that's a whole different story though. Okay. And if you ever have any suggestions on what you might like me to talk about and make fun of somebody or something, let me know. Maybe I'll be more motivated to make it more funny. For the little plots and twists I put into the small stuff. Anyway, that's it. That's all I wanted to say. And thanks for letting me be me and respect it. TikTok has done it, Spotify, or whoever, whatever platform you listen to. I've never had anything written to any negative, so thank you. You guys are really amazing. And I do always mean it when I say much love and respect to all of you. Enjoy the next part, GC quotes and jokes, quoting, Heath Ledger from The Dark Knight, said in Batman The Dark Knight. Here we go. Want to be friends with Unit Killer X on Xbox? Click the link. Below. Holy shit, that was long as hell. Coming in at 14 minutes and 13 seconds. I did not know that rap lit was that long. I knew it was long enough. And it didn't sound as authentic as uh, I thought it was going to be. Maybe it was because I chose Mr. Beast. Now, just not going to do this all again, trust me. So we're going to exit that out. We're going to paste and text. And I'm just going to do something short. Something like real, 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 real short. Okay? Okay. 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 This is how it usually goes. This is how I do. So just that little part, like just I, I, I didn't even come all the way out. So here's Gwyneth Paltrow, I guess. Welcome. Here you go. Okay, why didn't that stick? I'm writing a raplet on this new comedy place. And you see, and then it goes and goes and goes. But I promise you guys a better show with better characters to go with these uh, raplets. And, uh, that sounded worse, I guess.
Sí. Aquí va. What you're about to hear is the longest raplet ever, and I actually have a name for it. Oh yeah, this is really amazing rap books. This is amazing life and beyond. Here we go. It's amazing life and beyond. Hello, my name is Jimmy James, and I want to maintain a functional and fluidity in my upcoming paragraph, so please, whatever you do, don't laugh. I'm just a human like you, so no need to overthink it or think about something to maintain from going insane, weathering my pain into yours. This is the way I like to write when I speak upon myself. The way I understand the world around me and why things are the way they are. So before I really start, this is a short campaign, and before my report... I truly believe and still uphold that this society, basically the world, fuel, biohazards, basically the whole nine yards. What I'm talking about is planet Earth and its resources going to the O slash zone layer. I believe humans are to blame and what else in this world is like our species. Kind of a leap, a hop and a skip away from any other known animal on this thing we call planet Earth. <sighs> Why does it feel like sometimes in the world away from everybody else even though we live on the same rotating rock floating around space traveling at 16 miles per second? Spinning at a rate of about a thousand miles per hour, flying around the solar system of our home galaxy. Beautifully named the Milky Way come traveling outside of that range as a galaxy in a vast open space. And this is where I'm going to take you. I'm going to take you to a place that I put a lot of work in and I don't know if I'm ever going to honestly be absolutely 100% complete in. I just know I wanted to speak up and this is my only source of letting the human race understand that this will be philosophical talk about the future of everything. Hope you enjoy the rest. This is Jimmy James writing his first short to medium book I guess you would call almost a novel come, but to me it is basically a raplet, just the longest one I ever did there. There's no rhyming reasoning behind it other than the questions we ask ourselves almost every day, and if you have never asked the question before. After listening to this, I will hope that you at least one day reminisce about this to one of your loved one's friends, or even to yourself about how far could one species push themselves on the limitations of themselves and the resources. This is March 27th, 2024. I am not done the whole book yet, but as soon as I am, I will be getting everybody's ears wet with some information that they might have never foreseen. I have three scenes for this, starting with life, death, and the universe. Sit back and enjoy this one. I promise you is going to be a ride or not prepared for. And the rest I'll leave up to you. Here's the rest of a different one called Funny or Not. Either have I, meaning I don't know what funny or not either have I, meaning I don't know why I'm so tired and I literally fell asleep while I was listening back to this. Now I'm going to go ahead and copy and paste and put this on the human speech app thing and then I'm going to check out 11 labs and see what they over there are going to offer me. Because one thing's for sure, kittens galore, I can get them clicks on a daily beat. I guarantee them, I can get them three to five hundred clicks a day. And you know how I'll do this. By writing you guys the best shit you ever heard, poems, poetry in motion is what I call them. 
Rap Lips, which you guys already know about. And last but not least, my first book, I'd be dropping Thank You before you even heard it. By the way, I did chapter one the other night, and even I was like, holy shit, I actually might get paid. But then I thought about it and was like, I might get paid too much. So out of eight billion people in about half of them that are rich as a kitty cat and milk and kitty cat treats, who is going to compete to beat meat? Okay, that's enough of these weird jokes. I am half out of it. And still, I can bring you something of a funny joke. Talking about joking or choking, I can go for some eggs. So if you don't think I'm too rotten fuck, it hit the button and come find out what you're about to let your eardrums be rocking all. Right, catch you on the second part of this crazy show, which has absolutely no... Rhythm, rhyme, or flow, peace out for now, gotta go, gotta go write the second part of my book and see if I can give you guys something of a mystery. Matter of fact, I'm not sure where I'm going from here on out. K.E. made a speech to text, I wonder what they'll do next, as I stare into the abyss of a... The Basement Ramblings of a Crazy Person Part 3. What in the hell is wrong with me? Will I ever get fixed? When can I turn this shit into a remix? As... Thinking about... The Basement Ramblings of a Crazy Person Part 8 Would you come and listen to me? It's kind of answer my own question. I wouldn't come listen to myself if I was paying double and then triple and then for a reach around with a little help from my friend Ms. Beyonce or even Mariah Carey. I might consider Lopez, though, even though she a little bit older, now more past her prime, should I say. All bullshit in the side, and putting the funny part of me to the end of the comedy avenue. I got something new that I'm going to share with you. This is going to be on my second episode of season 14, episode 2. It's going to be an e-book. Yes, I've said it here. First, I started a book, and I... Started it with a nice hook. So before you get out of your seat and say, holy shit, this is something I might want to listen to, maybe first ask yourself, who love fuck is the one that is making this shit up as? They go, is me for sure. But I always give you 110%, even though I'm falling asleep with a coffee and extra Adderall to boot. I don't understand where that came from, that same. Hey, give me an... Example, I did all this work today and I had to drive a hundred miles to boot. What the fuck does that mean? In the meantime, I'm going to look it up on Google and see where some of these things are made. Okay, basically, things like a Chinese woman in the store last night, I'm falling asleep. Holy shit. I get to wake up. I'm going to be faking dead. Not the fuck you. I'm not getting through this shit. This is still... Recording. And I'm not like rhyming, I'm just talking holy fucking balls. So I meant this Asian chick. And since this is going on the recording part of this, like the rhyming speech text, whatever I don't, no, whatever you want to call it, I said karma, you know, and she knew English. She just didn't know what karma was. And then I said, you get two daughters, right? Two kids, as you go, yes, yes, you know, like it changed. Person would say anyway, long story short, and that's not a joke or a point anyway. Because Chinese people are kind of short, not a fact, she may have been from Japan. I never thought about doing one of these shows and straight up fucking, you know, text to speech style. The only problem is I got to keep my, what do you call, fuck me in a dick with a two hole condom that's missing. I just fell asleep for a whole second. As long as that little button doesn't disappear, if I stop talking for more than like 10 seconds, maybe there's something in the pills that I'm not paying attention to. Maybe I'm lost like all of you, so I'm going to take a ship in my coffee, and hopefully there's time enough for me to say this one last thing. My tooth hurts, and it's 2.30. I kind of thought that was funny. 
So anyway, let me bring you the rest of this really fucking cool number one ebook story. And please, no laughing aloud, or I'll find you and I. We'll dig you a hole just to be kind, and then I'll ask you to jump in. Then I will politely shovel your ass in bit by a bit, just for a little bit. And I'm going to be a nice about it. Also, I will drop in a tank of oxygen. The funny part of it all is if you live in summer, cold early ground is hard. Side note, I think my tooth is hurting and I'm feeling the side effects from it. Man, let me throw it. I'm just fucking around myself. All right, you guys heard that. That's my first time hearing it like that. So, some of it is mixed, some of it's old, but, um, while I'm sitting here, I'm like, what, what was that really about? I took out the beginning, but this is just the start. I will have not all that weirdness in there. I will take it out and fix it. That I promise you guys, I really do. I really will. Eventually, I, I will fix things and, um, well, I guess, uh, you know, things will get done, I guess. Um, anyway, uh, what else could I play for you guys? Let's, let's, let's add something. Let's add something. I'll be right back. Yeah, what's up? It's Jimmy James. I'm up here at my local Wawa, my store, and I'm going to see if I can get a little chat time with Meek, the security guard. Yeah. Love the job. Oh, I'm recording, by the way. This is his personal. You don't care, right? Just uh-huh. make sure I'm recording by this, not video. Oh, Audio. Yeah. You don't care? It doesn't matter to me. Okay, cool. Just wanted to let you know. By the way, this is Meek. My, uh, my friend at the store, they all know, they all, my, my buddy, the hell's a Wawa? You know what I'm saying? From around here. Yeah, yeah, they just don't know. And I'm like, you know, like their sheets and shit. Like I know a couple kangaroo. But anyway, uh, yeah, yeah. So it's weird when people are like, what the hell's a Wawa? And they spelled it wrong, like a Wawa. One of my buddies in there. And, uh, anyway. Thank you. They got the water too, don't they? What's that? They got it. Food, don't yeah, my sister goes to Florida for vacation. Yeah, I think they do have Wawa's yeah, in Florida. They do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, so, so it's weird because like that going one fifth break, they don't have one. Wawa's in Florida. They all have what? Chairs and things. Why? Yeah, they got it here too, but it's they, places. Yeah, yeah, they have it. In, uh, they have it down. Um, they have it at Bristol. There'd be no thieves going. What do you mean? Have, this one doesn't get shut down, right? Oh. The Wawa in Bristol had sheets inside and all that, and then they had beer. You could sit there and drink, but like, I, I, I told you, like, what? So, uh, why the hell do you want to sit in Wawa and drink? It's 7-Eleven there, so it's a little shop tower and pot. Uh, I, uh, I wouldn't pass anything. Seven. I'm waiting for you guys to get the the casino thingies. Like, I'm surprised you guys don't have them. Yeah, they're right here. No, no, the casino where where you could sit down and actually play. Like, sit there and put money in and actually play. You got the recording thing. thing. I think that's for you guys. That's what I just should have. Because you already got enough bullshit as it is. That's what I'm saying. What, what's it going to draw them? Like? They call those people to sit there? There's some in 7-Eleven oh, that, like, to... they kick them out. But, it, like, the, like if I go over there, I can sit for hours. But, you know, long as you ain't been in there. Homeless believe is right. But buy, like, a dollar. Oh. Yeah. And... My buddy was last night walking out. He was going to leave. I said, yo, trust me, play one more card because he was on card number five. I said, I guarantee he'll be a winner. It might not be a 500, 
but he got 200 bucks. He gave me 50 bucks just to pe play another one. Cause I was like, I don't really have any cash. Um, oh, dude, I, I do, I do. PA? Yeah. Man, I've been telling you, that PA shit. Won four, I won $5,000, dude. I blew it all. Blew it all. Like a fucking idiot. I've been, I bitch, no, I'm not ready. So I gotta get, uh, I gotta get transfer money for the SIGs. Once I do that, and then I'm thinking if you guys have soda. I take my time. It's that cold. Yeah, I mean, no, I got so you The only thing I really need from here, up here, is SIGs. Other than that, I can get all the food at the, you know, one of these. You guys know it's like my second home? <laughs> oh, shit. No soda. Uh, all right. Yeah, it's that bad. One, two, one, zero, three. A few more digits and you might get seen for who you are. You got me, I got you. That's the number to destiny. Look it up. You're probably figuring it all out. I just busted a nut, enough to fill a banana split, split your house open like you're in an action movie. But no savior here, just another deer left in the headlights. I had a man tonight, but he disappeared in my rear view lights. Shit's rough out there, in that thing called life. Up next up on the docket I'm going to put this world in my pocket. I'm going to savor the moment, when she gets out of control, when destiny is no mark on this world anymore, the way you can make it spin, to any world that you want to be in, at that moment, in that time, it's kind of like pulling a rabbit out of a magician's hat, to my magic, I'm back to yours, but don't call me Mike not just yet, I ain't stripping on no pole motherfucker this is higher power type shit, all I got to do is say, it, and it comes to tuition, time to bust but not like a squirrel but other than that it's another Friday in this mundane world, yeah I know I'm getting low, I'm going slow, I'm going in for the kill, shot, ready for fucking not, your life is in my scope and a couple pounds of pressure, and there you go your life is dead from being written past that stage of the bullet passing grass but not for gravity to make it stop, I'm sorry your head is the thing that is the only thing that's going to be. Put on display at the Art Museum of the Misinterpreted. If you don't understand what I'm saying basically the break it down for people who are smarter than you so they, and they think they got the drop on you and they say all this shit to you. I want you to be quiet as a church now and then wait for chance to pounce, either way I'm fucking out. Let me put this third verse in because I'm cooking up something worth more than just cursing a person the fuck out. The year is 1982 that's where Mr. Jimmy James came in the room. I was on the DL at the time obviously I was only two minutes in, that's when like this being told me to make sure you weigh in. I said what do you mean, and even then I had a grin. They turned to me and said you'll know when the time is right to say what's on your mind no matter how you say it. Just make sure you spray that shit for life to hear it. And I then turned and asked will they understand any of this. And then they said that's the problem you're the last person we're ever going to ask so I hope you get it right and if they don't think you understand me so fucking light or air more care we give them no more. Then mysteriously this being disappeared into the thin air. It was 8 years later I found out I had something special inside but I wasn't sure until I took that ride. But to tell you straight up I knew that eventually I'm going to have to drink from that special cup. And when I did I drank too much because now I know how much humanity has sank. We're at the bottom gasping for air and it seems like nobody cares. It's sad but true and life's a mystery no doubt. But I'll tell you one fact that. You'll learn out of this whole RAPTO the lit, Jimmy James ain't perfect but at least, I have the decency to hold the door or even ask a stranger who just said they're not feeling good if I can do anything to make your night going any better than it should, anything better than this moment in time. And that's when it hit me, time is a fucking illusion and I'm done losing. So I'm going to put down the mic, and wait for my talent to be picked up by somebody who understands who I'm coming from. And I ain't talking about a rap. I'm talking about a whole fucking outlet to light up my soul like New York like not Christmas tree, I'm about to be seen some space and beyond, so ladies and gentlemen that's my whole pawn of illusions to fact and this is where I'm at, I hope you understand it wasn't personal it was just, an illusion for everybody to say they believe in this and that and still so afraid of death but not afraid of some sleep, much love much respects to all my peeps. Fences. Don't look at her. You don't need her approval. Take your pants off. I don't feel appropriate doing all that. Like, like you're you're you just a middle-aged worker. Off. Like, I don't... Oh, I don't feel sure. comfortable. I'm probably... I want you jazz dancing if you're okay. I don't feel comfortable doing... I don't feel comfortable... Where you left that? You've been my way to my... 
You stop him out. <laughs> Listen, take your pants off. I'm all full. You're next, too, so nothing to laugh about. Come on. I, I'm sorry, but like, you. <laughs> I don't see no badge, like, I don't follow the name tag, like, who knows this guy? Like, <laughs> Listen, it's all right, hey, like, wait a minute, I can't solve. You know, your fan, yeah, I'm recording, I'm recording for the yeah. show because I have a question. So, I'm, uh, me and my, oh, he just woke up, got coffee, I and then he's like, this is my, oh, yeah. this is something I joke with my father. This is not, is this true? I say, you wake up, you get your coffee like any other normal person besides spilling it every time, and then you go back to sleep. I said, I don't know anybody else in the world who does this. And then you're asking me just a couple minutes ago, is there any more coffee? And yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> so, I have a, it's recording for, this is just a, for a part of the show so people will know. So we're listening to, uh, I'm only like 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 44.40 seconds in. Uh, I was letting them hear the part where it's at 22 minutes in. It's me, my father, and Chris. That was pretty funny. So, my question is, this is the first time he hasn't done this yet. I said, what? You've, hear, you've heard me do a whole bunch of shows. You know, yeah. some of it's funny. Some of it's like, oh, this is so stupid. Oh, that's and that. And that's fine. You know, that's why I tell people when you start a podcast... Don't, don't let your family know. That should be number one. Because I did do that. I did do how to start a podcast, but I can't do that all the time. So what would be a, recommend- a recommendation? I can- <laughs> I must- it's- I'm still fucking sick. I can't get words out and shit, right? So what would be something you would listen to? It doesn't matter. if it- Let's say you don't know me, but... You know how the type of person I am, or whatever. What would you want to hear a show about? Now, I don't really do politics and religion, but, you know, I could. Like, we've done a shows. I usually I know. baseball buff. I know. You're the baseball I, it's, buff. It's, it's hard to think of ah, something that... It is. You know, it? it's not easy to think of... Uh, uh, Something. I mean, you got the right thing up there, rambling to the crazy yeah, but I person. Could just, that was just... Okay, so uh, this is the third time I'm recording this, and uh, I'm not going to get into too much, except I want you guys to listen to this. This was awesome, and uh, this is from a good friend. Our Here's conversation hits three areas. Segment one. Oh, yeah, so, I didn't know if it was uh, recording or not, so, uh, this was uh, a show I did, this is a short thing, and then, um, this was, uh, here we go, I'll just play it. January 1, 29 minutes, 22 seconds, crazy insane or insane crazy. This show is going to be centered around some of the world issues, plus so much more. Also, a big thank you to a friend of mine for years, which we met on Xbox. The crazy part is that we kept in touch for all these years, and he also is a hockey player defenseman on his team, the DJ, and a devoted husband also. Derek DJ Derek. This was written by the podcast host who interviewed Derek. I just copy and paste this from here on out. I- yeah, so everything you hear from on out, it was like me copy and paste and enjoy. Because I enjoyed this. This was very well written. And once again, glad to be friends with somebody like this. And uh, I think the guy says it right near the end when he does his little ending segment. Listen, Reich is an award-winning wedding DJ who has been at it for 35 years. He has done it all, including starring as a club DJ at some of the local hotspots in Sacramento. Do you remember America Live, El Dorado Saloon, In Cahoots, or Stony Inn? Derek's key to success is his amazing talent as a DJ, but moreover his care for his couples. According to Eisenreich, he remains friends with 30% of his couples. In today's episode of Experience the Buzz, host Steve Buzzer talks shop with Derek. The thing I love about Derek is just how kind he is. He is humble and wants to help others. 
I can see why couples are happy and satisfied when they hire him as their DJ. Our conversation hits three areas. Segment one gets into the DJ career of Derek. All started at 16 years of age. He talks about becoming a DJ, his first wedding, and what events make him most nervous. Dot segment. Two talks about working as a DJ at some big concerts in the area. He discusses playing country music. We get into his transition from club DJ to wedding DJ and starting Riptide Mobile Entertainment in 2010. Other topics in this segment include the formula of partnership success, playing other events, mixing songs, and the ability as a DJ to read a room dot segment. T-H-R-E-E -E starts with a big announcement from Derek. We talk about his San Diego roots and have a rare hockey conversation. Derek loves and plays hockey. We finish the conversation with rapid fire and some great parting words to hear are my favorite highlights. One, listening to Derry talk about places like America Live and El Dorado Saloon. I didn't frequent these establishments, but certainly remember them very well from my days growing up in Sacramento. Two, Derek's experience with Jason Aldean is like having a Shohei Otani rookie card. Derek was the first to bring country superstar Aldean to Sacramento back in the early 2000s. That's pretty cool. Three, hands down. Derek is just a great guy, someone you are happy to be friends with. You can tell he is in a good place in his life at 51, engaged to get married, and continuing to rock weddings in the greater Northern California region. Our connection, Derek and I, met each other at an event for Angels for Hearts a few years ago at Jesuit High School. We struck up a conversation, and from there, our friendship began. Derek is a friend and mentor of mine. Derek is part of my partnership with some amazing local wedding DJs, including last week's guest Joe Calamaris, 42, and Mike Regan. Enjoy the talking story. Website at RiptideEntertainment.com. Click here, Riptide Entertainment, on Instagram, Riptide Derek. Send in a voice message. Support this podcast. December 2022. 53 minutes, 41 seconds. This is me. All right, so the rest is me, and um, all right. Hey, what's up, guys? This is Jimmy James, and you are now in the Creators Crew. Even though I don't sound like Jimmy James, well, I guess the jig is up. This is what a close resemblance of a human being, with a touch of terrified sounds like. I only get a thousand characters, so basically one paragraph in my world. There's no joy in doing this except that I can sit back, relax, and just speak it and let it come into the world as I think it. And don't get it twisted, I am not trying to rhyme all of this. I'm just trying to welcome you guys to something you might use in the future, hit or miss. But for now I'll stick with the miss, and her but, did any of you pick that up? Anyway getting back onto my day, just got all my new podcast and gear bundle, now I can call myself a real geeky nerd like a person who knows every Harry Potter movie and all their characters names and each phrase on each stage and to maintain some sort of sanity. I'm going to end this right here and right now, later my pals.
Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to the new and improved Jimmy James show. When I mean new and improved, I mean I finally got everything I needed. Not only that, I can do things like this. Yeah. How you doing out there, all you sexy fine ladies? If there's any single women... Well, of course you did, you dickhead, because that's what most people think about you when they hear you. They figured, you're the asshole who's asking for handouts. <laughs> Only if you knew. My grandfather taught me these words, and then I'm going to get on with the show. Believe nothing you hear, half of what you see. Stop jumping to conclusions. Yes, I'm talking to you. Not the person. Not you. No, not you. You might be thinking you, but not you. Yes. Before you come at me with conclusions... Anytime you like, that person can give you my address and you can come on over and we can sit down and have that conversation about what you think I'm doing and what I'm not doing. By the way, since I'm mentioning this, um, I hope Justin is getting... Uh, the help he needs. We were trying to go uh, do a GoFundMe page, and I was sitting there s setting up. Of course, that happens. I was sitting there setting up uh, something for <sighs> Spotify. Not Spotify. Sorry. The wires are getting me nervous. Uh, yeah. So I was going to set up something for PayPal, but I didn't. I did it on, um, no, I mean, oh, fuck Spotify, for PayPal, because I wanted to see the reaction. Even did things purposely, yes, but only people who knew about it, you know, the people who were doing it. All right, my buddy really does need the help, but that's not what that's about. You can argue Hey, why didn't you do that in the first place? Well, there's so many of them out there. And I've donated to places. M well, my own donation, which I should have said, is the Jimmy James Foundation. It is a real donation. Basically, it all goes to children with mental health. You can go right on my TikTok and look. It's not my donation. I should I should take that one on TikTok. That's not mine. That's Children's Hospital. But I do have a on my personal is a real donation. It's like C H. That's a weird name, but that's been my favorite for years. Anyway, getting off of that subject because if I get any more onto that subject, it's going to lead me down a rabbit hole, which. I did not promise somebody I wouldn't talk about, but it's my business to talk about whatever the fuck I want to talk about on my show. So let's get on the lighter note. And, oh, I'll definitely be getting a phone call about this later. See, ladies and gentlemen, even though I might have 10, 20, 30,000 listeners tonight within a couple days, and maybe all together I get, let's say, I don't know, forty to 50,000 listens on this. And the people who's been with me since the beginning. When I say I'm going to get a phone call about this, you probably already know, like, who it is without me saying, giving you a clue. And, like, <laughs> I wish I could tell you this story, but I'm not out of respect. 
But, but I can tell you this. I supposedly am going to have, have a special guest. Well, special to me. To a point. Until she drives me fucking crazy. Um, and then we're going to have a show. It's not going to be live, obviously, but, uh, it's, uh, going to be called Set the Record Straight. Mm hmm. Sometimes people just ask things and, uh, they bite off more than they can chew. Alright, so let me find something funny so I can throw back at you. Alright, I'm gonna switch off of Dolby. Go back on over to, uh, Audio Lab Pro. The best. It's the best. If you think you can beat me, if you think you can even come close to destroying me, hurting me, scratching me, insult, emotional damage, think again. You forgot who your opponent was. And just for that, I am going to make a rap lit. But this time, because you inspired me so much, I'm going to make it more human than ever. It will sound like a real person is saying each letter. I will find every bit, every butt, and I will take it out. Make sure it is, and where it is, and for what, 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 but, like I said, imagine having that in the 911 times. Holy oh, shit. 911, uh, what's your emergency? Uh, yeah, I got about, uh, three, maybe four minutes to live. Uh, why do you say that, sir? Uh, yes, well, I don't know. Maybe, uh... It's, I, I can't really tell you exactly how I know, but there's a... Well, I guess I can. There's a clock, and it says minutes to live, or time to live, down to minutes. And they said, wouldn't it be funny if uh, we gave him, like, some sort of, they called it a telephone, which was weird. And they said, go ahead, call for help. Uh, who's they, and why did they do... This. Where are, where are you? What kind of trouble are you in? Can you tell me? Quick. Uh, yeah. Pretty much I'm down to one minute, so no, I can't tell you, but I can tell you that these guys really like the party. Yeah, tell them that they, uh, you know, played with their balls a little bit. Hello, this is, uh, Captain Insanity. Where are you guys? We will come for you. Uh, and back to this. Now I'm just messing my voice changer. And, uh, yeah. Sucks I can't go backwards. Backwards. Back, backwards, backwards. Alright, there we go. Alright, I'll be right back after this. I'll do a proper 911 skit and a rap lit on top. Of doing this whole fucking show. By the way, mm, I'll get into that next. I gotta write it down. J O B. <laughs> <laughs>